So um, how do you use essential oils every day? What are just some some examples of how you put them to use in your life? So because my main issue is pain and pain management, I really kind of dove into which essential oils were good for that. So what I've come to find is that knowing what kind of pain you're dealing with is really important when it comes to finding the best essential oil to do the job because uh, like lavender, for example, is good for skin pain or skin issues, but marjoram works better for muscle pain. And so um, you really kind of need to understand which ones are going to work best. But once you kind of get through those and you and you start using a few of them, you can really, really progress. A good example is, you know, peppermint. Peppermint kind of gives that hot ice effect where it gets hot and then it gets cold. But it also can increase circulation and oxygenation to the muscles. And, um, you know, peppermint itself has about 12 different active compounds. So the largest compound is menthol. So it, it actually works as an analgesic. That menthol is really good at, at kind of numbing the area, but also increasing circulation. So when it comes to pain, I like to use peppermint oil for um, muscle pain that's maybe due to cramps or spasms or maybe swelling or stiffness because it can also, it can kind of increase circulation and so increasing oxygenation is always a good thing when you're dealing with um, any kind of spasm or swelling. And then it also really gives that kind of, um, I don't want to say the word numbing, but it gives you kind of that hot and cold effect, which can really ease the pain. Mm, so almost like one of those muscle rubs you might get that has that, that cold and then hot effect. Yeah, totally. 